everyone and welcome to our channel. First want to start out by wishing you all a very happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs> wow, such enthusiasm. Do you want to try that again? Well, it's only what the, whatever it is, fifth. Or sixth, or sixth. whatever it is, I don't know. But anyway, I've lost track of days. I don't have much time of happiness yet, it's only been six days. Yeah, anyway, just want to say, for those of you who are new to our channel, uh, welcome along and we hope you'll um, check out some of our other videos and vlogs and hopefully maybe even subscribe to them that would be really great if you'd like to join us on our YouTube journey <coughs> and for those of you who are already our friends on YouTube we welcome you back and we just want to say a massive massive thank you to everybody who has supported us this past year who has liked subscribed commented it's just been amazing and we are very very grateful Anyway, we didn't do a Disneyland Paris haul. Excuse Pablo barking in the background. He's being rather annoying today. Um, we didn't do a Disneyland Paris haul when we came back from our Christmas trip because we'd bought a lot of things that were presents. Um, so we couldn't really show them to you all uh, because the people who were getting the presents would have seen them. Um, so we didn't really do that. Um, and obviously now some of them have been given away, so we can't actually show you what we got. But we did get quite a few Disney presents ourselves for Christmas and birthday. So we thought we would do a little bit of a Disney present haul to show you. And for those of you who are, you know, observant there and keen of eye, you will notice that we are wearing some very nice tops here, which were bought for us by our daughter <coughs> Polly. And um, apparently, when we get next to each other, one your arm, they kiss, <laughs> sort of. But yeah, these are really sweet tops. I believe she got them, um, I don't know, Etsy or somewhere like that. But uh, yeah, they're really sweet tops. So these were from our daughter, Mickey and Minnie, who kiss when you sit on the right side, unless you sit the other side and then you've got your back to each other. So when we have a row, we can swap round. <laughs> sit the other side so we're actually turning our backs to each other <laughs> but yeah that was that was our first thing which is really sweet um you have to excuse me while i lean across to get things um some other bits that she bought us uh, which she had made for us which i think this is brilliant apparently the um lady who she ordered it with she did actually say disney grown-ups in one word but the woman auto corrected it and made it into separate words for proper grammatical effect but that's obviously not but that is brilliant and this is a little document holder here to put all our passports and travel papers and everything in for when we go away sandwiches. which is no no sandwiches which is really good i think that's brilliant love that so um yeah hopefully one day we'll be going on one of these big aeroplanes and going back to walt disney world um, another thing she bought us, which we can't fill in at the moment because we haven't got any dates yet, but hopefully very soon we will have some dates to be able to fill in, is this. <coughs> so we can put how many days in here until we go to Disney. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to fill that in soon. So that's another gift. So there's some really good gifts. I think, again, I think they were sort of Etsy um, where she got them from. Um, so when we went to Disneyland Paris, Gary went on Tower of Terror, Hollywood Tower of Terror for the first time. And so I didn't go on it because as some of you know, I don't like things like that. Um, especially <coughs> Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, you'd be fine on that, it's just an escalator. Yeah, it's not. Um, elevator, rather. <laughs> escalator. Um, so while Gary was on the ride, I snuck off and bought him and that's going to focus maybe if we get our heads out of the way or maybe if i put my hand behind it is that how it works I'm not sure um oh pablo but yeah anyway i don't know um but that's the um Just hollywood hotel um pin which no it's not going to focus i don't quite know how people get these things to focus but <laughs> But yeah, I bought him that as a reminder of um, his journey. So, um, yeah, so he had that for his, one of his Christmas presents. Um, some of you will have watched our Vlogmas videos. So you will have seen some of the birthday presents and things that I got. Endured them. 
endured them, yeah. Um, and 24. my daughter also, 24. I just thought I'd mention um, again that my daughter had bought me this beautiful necklace, which is Mickey's head. I think you can see that there, um, which is really nice. And on my birthday, Gary bought me a Disney Couture, no, Couture Kingdom, sorry, Couture Kingdom. Um, where is it? I can't find the. There we go. Gary bought me Couture Kingdom. They bought me a bracelet. And um, a really sweet bracelet. Very, very fragile. And unfortunately, after two days, it snapped, which I was really upset. So now I'm going to do a big shout out to, to um, Couture Kingdom because they were shut down over Christmas. Um, so I gave them a call two days ago and said um, this is the order number, this is what I had as a present and it broke. And I had a really nice gentleman who was very, very apologetic and who said to me that he would get another one sent out to me as a replacement in first class post. I received it uh, two days later that was late in the afternoon it wasn't the next day but it was the morning after i received it and they didn't even want me to return the broken one because they said i'd been inconvenienced enough so big shout out to them if ever you want to go online and look at their stuff they've got some really lovely disney jewelry and the customer service is second to none so yeah i'd recommend them and if you want to buy a cheap broken one you know what it <laughs> yeah um so this is uh, a mickey's 90th key ring which um I think it was bought for you. Um, yeah. So we also, when we were in Paris, we bought some last year. I ended up giving them out to our daughters. Um, but we, I really wanted to get some for us. So when we were there, we bought the Christmas mugs from Disneyland Paris, which say Magical Christmas. So we've been using them all over Christmas. Um, we had some, as you know, we've got our Disney tree now, um, and Abigail bought us <coughs> the Primark um, range that have been coming out. We'd already got the Bambi and Thumper, and she bought us oh, the so chip. <laughs> and we're boring you. Um, and Mrs. Potts. I'm not sure how you get these things to focus. Come out the way, does it? Oh, look, there we go. It's always dark, I think. Keep still. There we go. So anyway, there, we got those. So, um, what else? What shall I start with next? You don't have to stay out for short. Excuse me while I go and get some bits. I'm sure Gary will come back in and entertain you. So also when we're in Disneyland Paris, Gary does like a little scarf in the winter, don't you? Doesn't do hats and things, but he likes a scarf. Um, and he saw this which is the Disneyland Paris fleecy scarf. So again, I snuck off and bought that for him. Can't remember how much that was, but- um, Thousands, I yeah. do like fleece. Yeah, so um, I snuck off and bought that for Gary. Um, there you go, you can show some of your things, hey, yeah. I don't remember them actually. Oh God. You're supposed to show everybody, not yourself. This was Gary's, one of Gary's Christmas presents. You need to hold it up so people can actually see what it says. Can I see it? I can't see it. Yep, that's fine. And down again. So that's one of his t-shirts. And here you go. That was your other one. That's a nice blue one. Captain America. Lovely. Yep, it is. So there, Gary got those. Um, clothing wise, um, I have already shown you this on my birthday that I got from Abigail, but I thought I'd show you again just in case you missed it on the Vlogmas. Really nice quality t-shirt, which I think she said came from Tesco's, but really lovely quality. Um, when we were in Paris, I actually bought one of these for myself and one for Abigail. It's a, a grey hoodie, 
uh, you don't often see things with Daisy on um, and I thought that was really nice again from Kiabi um, I love Kiabi they do some really nice clothes really good Disney stuff so this was from Kiabi and I got one for myself and one for Abigail um, and Abigail for Christmas bought me this it's like a, a hoodie dress that's quite long but it's really soft and really comfy it's got Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey down one side, or Minnie, sorry, down one side, and uh, Mouse down the other, and obviously you've got Minnie on there, and little details like on the strings, it says Minnie Mouse, but that's really soft and comfy, and as I say, very long. So that's another another thing we got. Um, what's next? Ah, I bought Gary some decorations, didn't I? For and I was gutted because just after Christmas I bought him all these decorations and then the <coughs> Disney store had a half price sale gutted um, so would you like to show that one instead of scratching your head to the camera and why is it Little Mermaid? come on speak I can't see if it's in focus well it doesn't matter at the moment because you're supposed to be showing what it does what does it do? Come on, talk about Plays it. Plays music. Where is it? Oh, Look yeah. at the oh. oh, you have to press it. Look at the Don't press it again. Fair enough. I thought you was going to sing. No. Oh, you, this is your favourite bit coming. Go on, do your favourite bit. No, I won't do that. That's something that Gary says all the time. He walks around going 20, 20 all the time, which is why I got that one. Um, we have the Lumiere uh, that we bought before that lights up, that you've probably seen on our tree. So I got Gary the Cogsworth to go with it. So do you want to? Perhaps if you just do that behind it, maybe, or? Oh, I don't know. know what it looks like. Have we seen one? Anyway, that's the Cogsworth. Um, didn't feel we had any Donalds or anything on the tree. Um, got a lot of other things, so bought this Donald, which I thought was really sweet, and basically, and he's all glittery and done in his Christmas things, so I thought that was a quite a cute one to get. So we got that Donald. <laughs> right, so the battery just ran out halfway through me showing Pascal, so I've had to start again. And Gary took that opportunity to stuff his face full of celebrations and chocolate and has now had a coughing fit. So if he doesn't speak now, that's why. Because he's obviously been Mr. Greedy and had too much. So this is one of the other decorations that I got for Gary, which is Pascal. Um, and it also lights up. It's the lantern, lantern. Um, with Pascal underneath. Um, which is really sweet and we actually saw that and Gary wanted to buy it and I'd already bought it to put away for him so I was trying to convince him not to get it um, and Gary has a thing about Pascal because when we went to and lanterns and lanterns I like lanterns and when we went to Walt Disney World lights. in September 16 um, and they do the photographs and they do all the enhancements and things on them we stood in front of Everest in the background wasn't it it was the bit where Expedition Everest was behind mm. us um, and they took some photographs and they asked Gary to do this and obviously he ended up having Pascal on his arm which was really sweet and he really liked that picture and then uh, when we got home we went to visit our daughter at her flat and her flatmate had a plush Pascal so we recreated the photograph of us with Pascal and everything again but I will put that in, in at the end of this I'll, I'll pop that picture in so you can see so Gary has a thing about Pascal so that, that's why I got that one but I thought that's a really sweet little <coughs> decoration. So we've got even more decorations to go on our tree next year.
Um, <coughs> right, talking of decorations on our tree, this incredible, do you like what I did there? This incredible yeah, set here uh, was bought for us by Abigail and Chris. Um, it's a special edition um, and you've basically got all the incredible decorations. I think she said it was limited edition maybe. Um, I don't know if that's going to focus if I block us out of it and you can see. We did actually take them out and put them on the tree this year. Um, but they're really cool and they're really quite big. So um, set of four Incredibles, two ornaments. Uh, yeah, so that's, nicely that's packaged. really nicely packaged. You've all got Package. silk sort of satting -y inlay to it and everything. So that one is one to keep and treasure. So yeah, we've got that. I'm not sure where she got that. She might have got it in Disney store. She might have got it on holiday. I'm not sure. But yeah, that really nice set there. Um, also to go on our tree or around our tree to keep Eeyore company, Pablo very kindly. That's his name. Come back in again. Pablo very kindly bought us a present each. He bought us. Mickey and Minnie and they're from the Disney store and they're this year's um, Disney store purchase. There you go. Is that going to focus? What, on the feet? Yeah. What was on the feet? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Shows says, how Gary's looked at this. It says Andy. Yeah, it doesn't say Andy. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go, there's the feet. But yeah, so we've got Christmas Mickey and Minnie plush which will sit under our tree and did sit under our tree so we've got them for our Disney tree for next year. Um, oh some mugs here. Those of you who follow me on Instagram uh, would have seen that I actually Instagrammed this because I just thought it was really cute really lovely and just kind of sums it all up. Um, I'd actually bought it for Gary which is from Typo and it is less work more Disney and funnily enough just before Christmas Gary came home very upset because he'd broken his mug that he uses for work and I thought this would be a really good one for him to take to work but he now tells me he doesn't want to take it to work because he doesn't want to break it so and because the one he did have at work was a Darth Vader one it had Darth Vader one side Stormtrooper the other didn't it mm. um, and I saw this one so um, Again, if that's going to focus, your head's in the way, Gary. Move your head out the way. Oh, come on, focus, you silly machine. There we go. There. So, and last of all, uh, we treated ourselves to a little Disney calendar, and it's a year of Disney animation. Um, and each page has a different <laughs> has a different um, film and some information f about it. Um, so today is oh it's a weekend Saturday and Sunday. So that's today's. So there you go. So we've got a whole year of Disney. So I'm looking forward to turning that over every day. So, if Gary would like to come back up off the floor. <laughs> oh gosh, that's not nice. That's not a nice sight. <laughs> um, so, that's it. That's some of our Disney presents. As I say, there were other things, but we gave them out, so we can't get them back now. Um, thank you for, well we could, but, but it's too much hassle. So thank you all for watching. Um, we have started to put up our September vlogs again. I'm hoping to edit, I think there's probably about two or three more of them to go. Um, so I'm hoping to get them editing over the next few days and get them up and running. And then <coughs> we can start on all our Christmas vlogs, uh, Disneyland Paris. And hopefully um, we'll be able to give you some news on when we've booked and when we're going back and um, if you've got any suggestions, anything you'd like us to particularly vlog about on our next trip or anything that you'd like us to do or know about, <coughs> then give us a shout and we will try and do our best to see if we can incorporate that into all our next trip and our next vlogs. So. 
So. <laughs> I just love the way he knows what to say next. So what? <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. We are very grateful for your support. We'd like to wish you all again a happy new year and... It's probably been a year, isn't it? What do you mean it's probably been a year? Since the first one, first vlog. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been, in fact, it's been longer than that. We did actually do a vlog. Oh, I can't remember when our very first one was. It was just over a year. Um, but we did one. We didn't really know what we were doing. It says a year on the list. Yeah, I know. It always just says a year. Um, but we did one and then we didn't really know what we was doing. And then we had a massive gap of about six or nine months before we did anything again. So it wasn't really, we didn't really get going, I think, until summer this year. I think that's June this year, June, July time this year was when we really yeah. started properly vlogging um, and getting support from people. Um, <coughs> Big shout out actually to Fiona and Scott's Adventures who really have helped us on our way. Um, lots of other people to mention as well, but um, it, it's been it's been a really good year this year. What well, last year? I keep forgetting it's a new year now. Um, of people supporting us and everything, um, and um, we're still learning. I still I'm not very good at editing. Still, still don't really know what I'm doing. Um, still got like this freebie editing program that I'm using that doesn't do everything I'd like it to do. Or it probably does and I don't know how to do it. I still don't know how to put like information things up in the corner and things like that. There's loads of things I still don't know what to do. But we are, we're learning. We're slowly learning. Um, we're getting there. And um, as long as you guys enjoy watching and as long as we've got your support, then we'll continue to do them. Um, if it gets to the point where people aren't enjoying them and don't want to see them anymore, then we'll stop. You know, it's, uh, we're trying to do this for a, a bit of fun for us. It's, um, it gives us a distraction from the stresses of life. Um, it's a nice way for us to record all of our trips and journeys and things and what we've done. Um, yeah, it's like holiday videos, isn't it, really? Yeah. Agree. But also, we'd like to try and, you know, for people who'd like to be at Disney but can't be, um, gives them a little bit of a, like us, when we're not there, we like a Disney fix. We watch everybody else's vlogs and yeah. it's nice to sort of, you know, live it through somebody else. Um, try and give you any information we can. We, we try and help to give information on anything um, that, that might help. And equally, to try and give you a bit of fun and laughter. You know, I mean, look at us. Mm. What's not to laugh at? <laughs> I had a ride on Pirates of the Caribbean yesterday. You see, that's what Gary does. He likes to go on rides, <coughs> virtual be, rides. Uh, uh, Jordy, isn't it? Jordy and Philippe. Oh, DLRP fans. Yeah, they, yeah. they put one up a couple of days ago for a, uh, like a full walk on a ride. Yeah, so, see, Gary likes to do that. He likes to go on virtual rides, don't you? I like watching people's vlogs of, you know, actually in the park and where they go and what they do. Um, we like a mixture of things, really, don't we? Mm. But there's some really good vloggers out there, um, and we aspire to be as good as them one day. But we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Any hints or tips? Shout out. Please, we are welcome anybody to say anything that might give us some help along the way. So, anyway, listen to us for long enough, or me anyway, because he doesn't ever speak. Yeah, I'm the quiet one. <laughs> really? Right, well, thank you very much, and, um, you know, we hope you've enjoyed looking at a few of our presents, and we will catch up soon on our September vlogs, and then our Disneyland Paris Christmas vlogs, so... Thanks again. See you real soon. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> for watching.